G'day guys, it is Ben here from Hunt the Nights. Now, what we're going to do today is a point of impact test. This Pulsar uh, Krypton Mark II, uh, excellent little uh, device. Uh, there will be, this one in part of my full review, but there will be a full review of this very shortly if I haven't already put it up on our YouTube channel. Um, anyway, so I'm going to zero first my 204, I'm using a Delta Striker 2.5 to 50. Dean um, powered scope, beautiful scope. Sorry, not a strike, titanium HD. Love this scope, great for clip ons, especially um, the Krypton, that 2.5 magnification. So I'm going to zero this up and then I'm going to throw the Krypton on and align it all correctly and see what the point of impact like is like out of the box. All right, I've got my 204 shooting where I want it. After I initial zero, this is a two shot group. That was a two shot, it was a little bit higher than what I want to bang on the middle there. Two shot group there, which is what I want. So, got it shooting exactly where I want it to shoot. So now I'm going to set up another target, put the thermal on, align it all up, and see how she goes. Okay, I don't know how well the Krypton records, because I haven't tested that yet. So, I have gone through in the menu gone through the um, calibration process here and I don't know if this even shows up on an overlay but my reticle is perfectly lined with the reticle that displays in the Krypton for the display um, alignment now so I've gone ahead and done that so in theory based on Pulsar documentation and blah 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 I should be able to shoot at this target, this black target there. I'm going to turn my reticle red dot on so I can see my reticle whip out. You guys obviously can't see my reticle, but I can get a nice crisp image. This pop the Krypton is very nice. Much better than the Krypton one, and I liked the Krypton one. Now, in theory, because I have gone through the alignment process, um, I should be able to just shoot this and not have a point of impact issue. Okay? Um, so, still on the top floor. I'm very happy with the way my 2 0 was road. So, let's just see. This is, a, this is a test, guys, that you have to do when you use clip on. Okay? You cannot rely on any manufacturer's um, documentation to say you can just clip it on and shoot because it just does not work. You know, it's not responsible to do it. I'm not going to say it doesn't work because maybe this is going to work. This is grouse, I've got this bolted up at 50 metres, all the way to kind of 10 times, 12 times, and I can still see that dot okay, so, it's, um, no excuses, eh? Okay, and, um, bipod and some bags here so I'm very steady doing this. Two oh four suppress, there's no recall. Okay. Now what I'm hoping to see is a nice little group down there on the target. Well, I've got to say, pretty happy with that. One's a little bit to the right, but call that a flyer. Um, but there's no real deviation from what I was shooting before, which is great. So what I'm going to do is just pull the Krypton off, shoot again at this exact target with the glass, and just make sure that, you know, I'm not ending up, you know, half an inch or an inch away down here. So 
We're going to give that a go, but at the moment I'm going to say I'm pretty happy with that. And that's pretty good for straight out of the box. You don't get a lot of, you know, clip-ons um, that are pre-collimated uh, that well. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I just punched a two-shot group uh, there. Seriously, that's the distance. You're shooting minute of fox. Uh, it's really not going to make any significant difference. So it's not perfectly aligned, but geez, it's, yeah, it's close enough not to have to worry. Anyway, there it is, guys. That is my Pulsar Crypt on 2 point of impact test straight out of the box.